Hey, it's MK, and I am here for another Mixed Media Mayhem recipe today, and today is calling for doodling. So with doodling, I pulled out my Arteza gel pen in white. Now, I got this in a pack of, I think, 10 um, on Amazon. I also pulled out the Lucky Ones by Thickers for my glitter in the recipe. Um, <laughs> I went a little overboard on the glitter, and here I was freaking out about the glitter. I pulled out some oldies but goodies. I uh, it's just a bunch of random gears that I used to have in my shop so they're actually from a couple collections I can't really say if they're the cog I know one's the cogs and the gears and then the sprockets and then for my ink and paint I kind of cheated I went with ink spray and a paint spray so my two ink sprays are by Altenew and they're antique um, gold as well as silver I think it's called antique silver too and then, of course, the Dina Wakely uh, Pure White is what I have. And then for more glitter, I pulled out this Close to My Heart super old glitter paper. And then their uh, Black Core Black Cardstock. Whoo, say that twice. So it's Solid Core Cardstock. Um, which is new to Close to My Heart, but um, I love the thickness of it. Oh my stars, it is super thick. So what I'm doing is I'm only doing an eight and a half by 11 page today. So I cut my black paper down to eight and a quarter uh, by 10 and three quarters. And now I am creating a border with my glitter paper, but I definitely do not want to waste all that glitter um, behind my black. So I'm going to gut out some of it just so that way I can um, mat my photo with it. I don't I don't plan on cutting down my photo because it is just a single photo. Um, I, in all honesty, I usually don't do just one photos. I've, I've been doing a couple of them lately um, just because of some, it might be the sketch that I'm doing. It might be the size that I'm doing, things like that. But um, this one here is just an adorable photo of my family walking on the tracks, um, going to the mechanic shop, the maintenance shop, um, over at the Northern Nevada uh, Railroad Museum. And so I thought it was a lovely picture. And um, even though it's of their backsides and you can't see that everybody's in the photo, I really liked it. I liked how it came out. I like the angle of the tracks. I mean, just everything. And so I really wanted, you know, that photo in my album. So um, because ATG tape does not stick to this glitter paper at all, I should have pulled out my um, uh, my score tape. I didn't have a clue where it was, so I went with what I had. Um, but when it comes to this photo, I definitely will uh, be locating <laughs> my score tape because I know the photo will just fall right off. Um, so for my, my black cardstock, I reinforced my ATG with the, um, with the washi tape and I finally ran out of that butterfly washi tape. Mm, sorry, you guys, I, I use the washi tape mostly on the backs of my layouts as opposed to the fronts of my layouts. I'm just not a big fan of them, but I've, I've accumulated quite a bit because of the fact that they come in almost every, uh, kit or every collection, things like that. And it's like, oh my stars, you know, I'm, I, I don't want any more, <laughs> but I do, I am fond of quite a few, um, that have been coming out recently. So, uh, I've been trying to use it and that fabric ones, um, those ones are fabulous by Altenew or I, I'm, I'm sorry, by 49 and market. Those ones are awesome too. All right, you guys. So, um, for these thickers, they are uber old. I can't tell you how old they are. Um, but they were so old that I had to keep my thumb to hold the carrier sheet down to peel up the, the, the sticker. Um, if not, I, it would have come up with it and then I, I would have had a sticker backing. I mean, it just, it was awful uh, to say the least. And so I cut that part out because it just, I had to do that for every letter, every heart, everything. And it just was like, okay, that's annoying. Um, so I just wanted to share the first letter with you guys to let you know that um, I, I honestly think it's because of age. I really haven't had any other um, any other alpha or anything like that stick to the carrier sheet like this. So anyways, um, and it is my 2023, whoo, that's weird, uh, goal to use up these pre-made words because clearly that's not my style. And um, I have a ton of them. And so it's um, one of my goals uh, for next year to only touch these 
um, and, and just use them. So a lot of my layouts are going to say family or um, lovely or, you know, all the same words over and over again. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of these alpha stickers uh, or pre-made words is because they all say the same thing, all of them. Uh, there's a, every now and then you get one or two words that are different, but yeah, I, I'm just not a fan of having the same thing over and over again in my layout. So anyways, um, I did add my uh, gears in there and I, I glued them off camera because they all just went right back. Uh, it was almost like you were seeing uh, deja vu, you know, where here was the gears and then there they are again type of deal. Um, so I went ahead and glued them off camera, glued my photo down, and then I, um, went and put my alpha down but because some of it is on the bulky gears I did use um, foam tape to back them up and then of course I did use all the hearts that were in this collection so hearts and gears you guys I, I must be sick because I'm using more and more hearts these days that's crazy uh, and lastly I'm going to finish off using the antique uh, gold um, splatter and then I'm going to bring in the Dina Wakely white splatter just for some contrast but I didn't want a whole bunch of contrast I love all the different metallics that are on this layout I really do and it came together so super fast um, I was really I was really worried about the goal you know the glitter portion of it because I'm just not a glittery person and um, so I'm glad it all came together so for my doodling I'm just going to do a, um, a sketchy border around the whole layout. I actually was going to stitch around it, but this layout really didn't, um, it didn't feel like stitching was the thing. Stitching is more of like a, a cutesy thing. And, and this layout just didn't have that feel. Um, also too, when my, when my pen stops working, what I do is I go and I put it on my finger and I make sure that it works on my finger and instead of a piece of paper because if it's not working on your piece of paper it's not going to work on another piece of paper but your finger has all those grooves and stuff from the skin and what it does is it catches whatever's keeping the ball from rolling and um, and it helps move it along and so that's why I just I just go ahead and use my paper instead of you know getting upset that it won't work on one paper it's not going to work on another and then I also went and made a bunch of little squiggly lines um, on all four borders uh, just for uh, just for a matter of interest and I, I really like how those look so anyways thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really truly appreciate it be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with mixed media mayhem today um, and this, like I said, this month is pretty uh, scarce and light because of the fact that it's the holiday season. Um, a couple of channels have been light lately too. I know that mine um, struggled a little bit. It didn't struggle, but um, I had to make priorities, right? Um, we ch pick and choose what we do. And so if you don't see a creator creating videos um, for quite some time, it's okay. They, they're just busy at other things. Uh, creating a video takes takes a lot of time. You you have to create the content and then edit the content and then um, some do voiceover, some do real time. Uh, it, it all depends on the video and I know that my viewers don't like the music. Um, so mine will always be voiced over for you guys in all honesty. Um, I will never just go for music unless it's um, a slideshow that I'm showing you guys um, something, you know, like if I'm just presenting something and it's a really it's a short something. Uh, so anyways, I just thought I would uh, share that with you guys. Um, if, if you stop seeing content from somebody, it's because their life got away from them and it's okay. It really is. Um, when they're ready, they'll come back. Um, and if they don't, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. Um, there's tons of creators out there, you guys. I absolutely love it. I love how many videos are out there and how many new creators we got just last year alone, which is this year, 2022, I mean. <laughs> I'm already talking like I'm in 2023. That's great. Um, so anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate the comments, the thumbs up. I just all of it, you guys. I really do. Um, and that's why I continue to create for you guys. So anyways, uh, and go check out, did I say that? Go check out everyone else that created today. Honestly, uh, there's a list down below. Like I said, some of them may not have videos up, but uh, go check out their channels and see what they were doing. Uh, that would be nice and give them support, even though they might not be present today. All right, you guys, thank you so much. 
and uh, I'll check y'all later. Bye.